From his stock rising to the top of the Hollywood market, to finding his real-life kryptonite, this is why no one wants to work with Henry Cavill. British actor Henry Cavill has entertained audiences since 2001, after landing a role in the Mafia film Laguna alongside Joe Mantegna, and followed that by appearing in numerous television and movie roles, finally breaking through to a larger mainstream audience in 2007, when he played a leading role in the Showtime television series, The Tudors, assuming the role of Charles Brandon, first Duke of Suffolk. The series earned a Golden Globe nomination in 2007, won an Emmy Award in 2008, and Cavill credits the show for bolstering his career by presenting him to an American audience, which could have come earlier if he landed the role of James Bond in 2005's Casino Royale. But the producers ultimately chose Daniel Craig to play the Dapper Agent because they wanted to cast an older actor. He rode the wave of his newfound American exposure and was chosen to play Superman in Zack Snyder's 2011 film Superman Man of Steel a role that made his stock rise to the top of the Hollywood market. He reprised his role as the Man of Steel in 2016's Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Justice League in 2017, Zack Snyder's Justice League in 2021, and 2022's Black Adam. Cavill's small screen fame rose with the release of The Witcher series on Netflix in 2019, where he played the lead role of Geralt of Rivia, and though the storytelling efforts have been questioned by critics, his role has been applauded, and his performance carried the series, but Netflix announced they would be cutting ties with him after the third season, and he'll be replaced by Hunger Games star Liam Hemsworth. Why would they cut the highlight of the series? Well, Henry suggests that it was his decision, that three seasons were enough, and he's chosen to move on. The idea that a demanding production schedule that includes filming overseas has also been thrown into the mix of reasons for his departure from the popular Netflix series, but that has been brought into question based on information that has been made public since the comments. On the popular podcast, Do You, host Do Moy, claimed to have received a transcript suggesting that Cavill was fired due to a major conflict with Witcher showrunner Lauren Hisrick. The transcript says that Cavill became impossible to work with, that he would try to overrule Hisrick, ignore the female writers and directors on set, and made it impossible for them to do their jobs. Apparently, all the department heads were complaining about his comments being disrespectful and toxic, though not sexist or lewd. The source also claimed that Cavill was deeply addicted to video games, even going so far as to use video game language to talk to co-workers, and his obsession reached the point of addiction until it escalated to the point that he'd do anything he could to delay the production of the show. That's the calling card of an addict if it's true, but Hisrick says it isn't. She says that the claims made in the transcript aren't true, that there was no unpleasantness between her and Cavill, and that their relationship and his departure from the show were mutually respectful, though she refused to reveal the actual reason why he left. That's exactly what we'd expect her to say, even if it wasn't the case just to remove herself and her show from the drama. And it's admirable since she's taken a lot of heat from fans of the series who suggest it was her writing, not any on-set relationships, that caused Cavill to leave. Henry has admitted that it was his love of the video games that spawned the Witcher series that made him want the role, so the idea that he would leave over the writing seems legitimate, especially since Lauren denies it was because of a personality clash, but it also backs up the anonymous source's claims that he refused to listen to anyone on set. If his love of the games was clashing with the writer's vision, that could have easily led him to resent them and stop taking direction, especially if he was addicted to the games, as the source also claims. There's a lot of smoke coming from the leaked transcript to suggest there's no fire especially since so many of the points are very specific, like rewriting other actors' scenes and not telling them until it was time to shoot, refusing to do any shirtless or kissing scenes, and forming an alliance with a male member of the writing team and fellow gamer who eventually had to be fired after multiple complaints were made to human resources regarding his behavior. There has to be a fire somewhere and James Gunn may have found it. After Cavill's exit from Netflix, he was kicked out of the DC Universe by James Gunn, where he was booked to star in the new Superman film. Gunn, the co-head of DC Studios, thought it was wise to send Henry packing. If anyone would be sympathetic to a victim of an overblown attack by the media, it would be Gunn, since he knows all too well how much damage it can cause, yet Henry was granted no sympathy and was put out in the cold. So what was Gunn's public explanation for terminating his contract? 
Well, Gunn says that Henry wasn't fired at all and that his release from upcoming projects was simple. There was no plan to have him back and nothing was promised to him, not even the role of Superman in Gunn's rebooted DCU. That doesn't make a lot of sense since Cavill was shown in the post credit scene from Black Adam. Black Adam. We should talk. Talking about how his role in that film was a small taste of things to come, and then made a video telling fans that he was back. That I am back as Superman. And the image you see on this post and what you saw in Black Adam are just a very small taste of things to come. And looked forward to playing the Man of Steel moving forward. The official explanation is that there was a miscommunication between Cavill and DC studio executives, leaving Cavill under the impression that he was going to play Superman moving forward, when no such agreement was ever discussed, and he wasn't part of Gunn's future plans at all. That type of misunderstanding seems like an incredible stretch, and very hard to believe, but James wanted to make it clear that was exactly what happened, so he told Cinema Blend, it's important to say that Henry Cavill was not fired. Henry was just not hired to be Superman. There was never a deal there for another movie. That's not what it was. So are we to believe that Gunn has enough respect for Cavill to announce to the world that he wasn't fired, yet not enough to let him know he wouldn't be continuing as Superman and allowed to cut promos announcing that he would be? Gunn continued to say that Cavill is a great guy, but his Superman story isn't for Henry. Cavill was clearly under the impression the role was for him when he announced he was back. And even when it became public that he wouldn't be just five days later, he didn't say he was being replaced. He said he was leaving the role, a role he never had. That all seems pretty hard to believe and suggests there is much more at play behind the scenes. All the answers have just raised more questions as to what is really happening with the British actor. But all roads lead back to the anonymous source's claims of personal issues that led to onset disrespect and disruptions during the production of The Witcher. It's all speculation, of course, and we may never know what actually happened, because admitting that the claims made against him are true could railroad his entire career. And as we know, many people in the industry look to avoid scandal at any cost, hoping unacceptable behavior by Hollywood stars simply sorts itself out without them being a whistleblower. Production studios that call out their stars for improper behavior make it hard to attract A-list talent since they'd have to worry about negative press leaking out. Maybe Henry's real-life kryptonite has been found, or maybe it's just a big misunderstanding. So, from finding his real-life kryptonite to his stock rising to the top of the Hollywood market, that was why no one wants to work with Henry Cavill. 